Hey guys, so we just got a new general announcement for Merlin. Do I know you? Uh, I'm Merlin, so I don't know you. Uh, we put his stats into the spreadsheets, updated all the rest of the generals into the new format as well, and uh, let's have a look and see how he stacks up. For the base skill overall, he has a pretty nice base skill. These are pretty high stats for the archer generals in general with pretty balanced across the board. Miha is comparable. Marcus Agrippa is also comparable, but he's probably the most balanced for the base skill. So he's a very good base skill general, which means he has potential to be an assistant. We'll see later how he stacks up on the assistant side of things. But if you're early in the game and you manage to snag a copy of him, uh, he is a viable option for a general until you're able to start ascending somebody else, or if you want to ascend him. Looking at the total skill, his total skill seems pretty nice. Yeah, it's not the best, but it's uh, it's not terrible. Something he's missing out on is he has zero march size, so that's going to hurt his effective damage in the end. So we'll see how that stacks up, but he is pretty pretty decent overall. On the specialty side of things, pretty standard stats, nothing too crazy. Pretty decent overall. Uh, no March size, so that's where he really draws back. His Covenant is pretty decent. You get 5% March size out of there, which is he's the only ranged general that gets extra March size for the Covenant, so that does help him a little bit. Covenant are, overall is pretty decent as far as Covenants go, but nothing too crazy. Base stats and attributes, uh, a little bit higher than normal, but we expect to see that with the Premium General, so... Nothing too crazy. For the total attack, he's now the highest in terms of total attack. Uh, but the march size is going to affect the increased attack value. So it's not the whole story there. Defensively, he's second in defense a little bit behind Marcus Agrippa. But he does have a lot higher health. And he is top in health. So he is a very tanky general which looks like what they're geared him towards, which if you want a tanky ranged march, there are uses for that. Personally, I think that the damage side is more important for ranged troops, but there are uses for tankier ranged if you want to go that route. His overall march size, as we said, is 5%. And if you notice at the top, I did throw Genghis Khan on this list because he was on my old list and I was just transferring all the stats, so... We could see him in there just for funsies. In terms of the total increased attack, this value is going to be based off of the base rally spot K40, tier 15 range troops, 2,000% buff, and an extra 2.5 million march size, which if you download the spreadsheet yourself, you can change these values to look at it yourself. As you lower the troop tier and the base rally spot, you're going to notice that Generals that are more favored towards high attack and less march size are going to be more favorable. Once you go up into the higher tiers, the march size is going to be more important. So for earlier game, Merlin is definitely going to be pretty good. But based off the increased effective attack, it looks like he comes in fourth place. But important note for Martin is that his skill really only works in SVS. A lot of them are parts of it are turned off when it's not SVS, so he doesn't really count. He's kind of uh, technically in third, but he's very tanky, so, you know, and he's not too far behind Marcus Agrippa, and he's behind uh, Douglas by just a little bit, so nothing too crazy. He's a pretty solid general. Seems like they did a decent job balancing him. Now let's go over to the assistant side of things. As we already outlined, he has a pretty solid uh, base skill, so... We expect to see some promise as an assistant for him. Of course, we only get the base skill. We don't get five-star skill. We still get covenants and specialties, and that's all we get for an assistant. Overall, attack-wise, he's second, right behind Marcus Agrippa by 5%, so super close there. Uh, skill book compatibility. For them, I'm not sure. I haven't researched it, but that would make a difference if one is and isn't. 
on the assistant side, on the main general side, you're not going to see too much of a difference. A couple billion extra damage, but nothing crazy. Survivability as an assistant, pretty solid. Behind Agrippa and Miha. Health-wise, he's the highest health. So he's probably the best survivable assistant overall with pretty decent attack. He still gets the 5% march size, so that's pretty nice. This effective attack is calculated the same as the previous one. Tier 15 standard. Overall assistant damage, he comes in third place behind Charles II and Elanor. And as we know, Elanor and Charles II have that nice 10% march size, so they're pretty pretty solid on the assistant role right there. It's hard to catch up to them. But he does do pretty good. He stacks up real close behind him, so if you want to get him as an assistant and spec him out, a very solid option. You can definitely make the argument that he's a better one just due to the closeness of this stat and how much more survivable he is than these two. So checking uh, Ebony Guide Wiki, it uh, looks like there's some preliminary reports out on him. He can take the ranged attack book, the defense book, and the hit point book. So those are points in his favor. Uh, looks like he's not compatible with Miha. They don't have information on Elaner, James Conrad, or Mason Weaver. But those aren't commonly used except for Elaner. Elaner is. So we don't know about compatibility with them. But it looks like he's compatible with most everyone else. In my personal opinion, the probably the best assistant to be with him, uh, probably Marcus Agrippa, and he is compatible, simply due to that Marcus does have that nice uh, buffs as an assistant, so you know you can play into the defensive side of it, and he does have respectable uh, attack as well. Or another option would be Elena or Charles II. Uh, no information on Elena if she's compatible. Charles the Twelfth is compatible so if you wanted to pair him and try and compensate give a little bit extra damage to that march uh definitely a solid choice there overall a pretty interesting general with some interesting use cases so we'll see how he turns out i'll have the spreadsheet for this linked below with all my other spreadsheets y'all are always welcome to download them and use them for yourself so i hope y'all found this video informative and i'll catch y'all in the next one Damn, I need to stretch this video out to 8 minutes so I can get those mid-rolls.